Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday morning, December the 17th, only eight more days until Christmas, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to experience Christmas morning with the grandkids. So this morning I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to be making sausage gravy and biscuits, and I'm going to make this in two videos because it's going to be just too long for one video. Y'all know I don't like long videos. I don't like making y'all watch them that are very long and I don't like watching long videos myself. I just don't have the patience for it no matter how interesting they are. So I'm going to use my biscuit mix that came from my subscriber from the uh, Loveless Cafe in Nashville. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift. I haven't used it yet so I'm so excited to make these biscuits. So the directions call for 12 to 14 biscuits, which is a plenty for me. Um, one half pound or a cup and a half of the biscuit mix and two thirds cup of milk. So I'm gonna make the biscuits first and get them in the oven. And while they're baking, I'll make another video of the sausage gravy. So my subscriber sent me these Johnsonville sausage patties. I'm gonna crumble these up and make my sausage gravy using something I have never used in my life. And that's a package of um, gravy mix. I mean, Pioneer, I did use Pioneer biscuit mix, I think, back when I was raising the kids in Covington. But never have I used a, a pre pre-made or gravy mix. <laughs> Y'all know I like to make my gravy with butter and flour. So let's get busy. I have a lot of work ahead of me and I'm hungry. It's early Saturday morning. So we will start with the biscuit mix. Now a cup and a half of the biscuit mix. Now I'm going to sift it. It doesn't say to sift it, but I just think they'll be fluffier. It it over the sink so I can level it off. I, it did say do not put in a measuring cup and pack it. I will scrape the top off. Don't want to waste any of it. There we go. Put this little bit back in the package. Okay, so that's my first cup. And then half of a cup. Admire y'all who can eyeball a half a cup inside of, of one cup, but I can't do it. I mean, I could do it, but I don't trust myself to get it right. I will be rolling these out. I have never owned a biscuit cutter, nor have I ever used a tin can or anything to cut a biscuit with. I, I prefer to roll them out in my hand. I just like the way it feels. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these sifted. I love my stand from my subscriber, John. You need to email me and let me know how you're doing. I hope you're home from the hospital. Y'all have been praying for John. I know you have. He left us a comment in my live stream on my birthday. See, he was back in the hospital. He has a rough go of it every now and then. And I love you and I pray for you, John. Okay, now it calls for two-thirds cup of milk. Y'all, I could only find um, fat-free milk at the store yesterday, so that's what I'll be using. I'm just going to dash in a little vinegar to make it buttermilk. And I detest the smell of it, but it's good to cook with, so sometimes you just have to take the bad with the good. Now, I like to make a well in my flour, just a little hole in it. Of course, we don't have to add any Crisco or lard or anything. I used to have to get in here with a gob of Crisco and make it all up. That's the beauty of using a biscuit mix. So I'm just going to add it in very slowly. Let's see what the directions say. It says to treat your dough gently. Doesn't even say how to, how to pour it in, but I will pour it in slowly. So you just start pouring in your milk, just a little at a time, and then you just use your hands to blend it together. This doesn't look like a whole lot of flour, but 
We'll see. I'm sure this loveless cafe, I've never eaten there, but I sure have heard a lot of good things about it. I don't believe it's going to take two-thirds of a cup. Did I put in that other half? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Y'all, I'm beginning to, to doubt my own sanity. Yeah, it needs just a little bit more. I did put a tad bit more than two-thirds in here just in case. I did need more. I wouldn't have to get the carton of milk back out of the refrigerator. So, y'all have been asking me about my leg. It, My knee is better, but my calf muscle is still very sore. And So, I went back on Dr. Brad and Dr. Bob to... You know, the, some of the videos that I was watching, you know, they've been on YouTube a very, a very long time. Some of them were six years old. So I thought, well, let me watch some updated versions. And I did, and, and they did have different, different set of exercises for those. You just put some flour on your fingers, and then you can push the dough off of your fingers, and... Wash your hands if you want to. Let me get all of this dough out of here. So actually, some of the exercises that I was doing for my calf muscle was actually harming it because um, they said, don't, you know, don't do the stretching if it hurts. And I was thinking, well, the more it hurts, the better, you know, but that's not the case. So I'm back to taking my leave. So... I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and use my little pastry mat, although I'm not rolling them out. I think it will be better to, that plate is jiggling and moving around too much. So you want to flour your surface and your hands. And then you just turn your dough out onto your surface. You handle it very gently. You handle it like it's a baby. The more you handle it, the tougher your biscuits will be. Then you just knead it. So anyway, my knee is a lot better. The swelling has gone down and the pain has subsided a good bit. But my calf muscle is still very, very sore and painful. And I'm still having to use my cane to walk. This is how I need my bread. You can just, you know, do it however you want, but be gentle with it. And then you want to just flip it over and pinch you off a chunk and start rolling. I just kind of fluff it up like that. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I could bake it like that and have me one big old biscuit, right? So I'm going to put it in these little round pans, which I have to spray with some Pam. If you don't have Pam, just use some Crisco, put some Crisco in the bottom, and then sprinkle a little flour over it. You can even put oil in it, if that's all you have in the house. So, you can see I've just greased my pan with Pam. But anyway, um, Dr. Brad and Dr. Bob, the video that I was watching, I happened to look, and it was six or seven years old. So I found one that was about six months ago, and I've actually have been doing the wrong exercises, or I guess the wrong exercises for the stage that the injury is in right now. So I've modified them, and... Actually, the, the stretching of the hamstring and everything is not supposed to be stretched to the point of pain. <laughs> and that's what I was doing, so I was actually hurting it more than helping it. So I like to, you know, just pinch off a piece and then get some a nice little coating of flour in your hand. And then you just roll it. You just, the way you roll it, you just kind of do your thumb in like that and turn it. Turn your dough, see? 
until it just feels right. And you have a nice little biscuit. And you want them to touch sides. These are going to be small, which, which is fine with me because they're going to rise up, so they'll be a plenty big for myself. When you pinch your dough off, you'll have the rough sticky edge. So just dip that in a little bit of flour and then get your hands coated like I told you before. Some people, I'm right handed, but I still roll it with my left hand, but I'll try to do it with my right hand. Anyway, you just keep you know, tucking your dough in with your thumb. This is for all my youngins out there that watch and don't know how to roll a biscuit. <laughs> See how nice it is? You just put that in, in your pan. Then you use the back of your hand and pat it down. Now, Dort used to take her knuckles and just... When she would be mad at me, she would take her old knuckles and then just grind it into the top of my head like that. Oh, she did some of the most asinine things to me and my sisters. Totally um, uncalled for stuff. Where was I? Oh, my, my day. Okay, so I'm using my cane, which helps a lot. It helps take some of the weight off of the injury. And then I'm doing the exercises three times a day. I guess I should say physical therapy. And then either once or twice a day, I will get in the shower and let the hot, hot water run on the injury. And then I massage it and I rub it really good with the Voltron cream. Diclofenac. And it's, it's better. Like I said, it is getting better. This one's kind of big. I know they look awfully small in the pan, but they're going to rise up nice and big and beautiful. Look at that and how perfect. Oh, I forgot to turn my oven on. I believe it said to bake them at 400. So I will be back when they're baked. I'll take them out of the oven and then we'll start on the sausage gravy. Um, the pastry mat I bought off of Amazon. I will leave a link to it in my Amazon store in the description box below. And I will leave the general link to my Amazon store site. If you click on that link and then purchase whatever you want from there, it doesn't have to be on a list in my Amazon store. If you just use my link, it'll go to my um, Amazon affiliate site, and then you just purchase whatever you want. And I will make a small commission off of your purchase. Okay, so the instructions on the bag said to brush the top with melted butter. I used to just pour a little vegetable oil on the top but I will follow the recipe. Now I will um, link the Loveless Cafe website in the description box below in case any of y'all do want to order from the store. I am not um, affiliated with the store in any way, nor do I receive any type of commission or recognition by promoting their product. I'm just doing it for, for your convenience, for any of y'all who wish to purchase from there. Now it said to bake them about six to eight minutes, so I will set the timer for six minutes. And then it said to brush the tops again with the rest of the melted butter when I remove them. So we will do that. I'll be back in about 10 minutes, guys. So the biscuits are rising up nicely. Um, they do take longer than the instructions on the box says that they take. It said to cook them six minutes. They've been in there at least eight minutes, so I'll let y'all know what the what the end time is on them. I'm not going to open the oven door. Oh, they smell so good. Biscuits would just get brown so I can eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> get me a big paper plate. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I think they're ready. Let me check. Yes, the biscuits are done. I think next time I would probably bake them on 425. I think 400 is a little low for baking biscuits. I gotta let them set a minute before I can open them up. to melt some more butter to smear over the top of the other ones. Or you can just do it whenever you reheat them in the microwave, which is probably what I'll do. So what you want to do is cut them in down the middle, split them open. Then you just spoon your sausage gravy on top of them. Give me a spoon. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> Or, so I'm going to go enjoy this with a big old ice cold glass of milk. Loveless Cafe Biscuits and Johnsonville's or Smithfield Johnsonville sausage and gravy made out of Pioneer gravy mix. Quick and easy and delicious. Look at it still smoking. Y'all, that dollar twenty-five I paid for that pioneer gravy mix is worth its weight in gold. Mm. You don't have to add a thing to it but water. It is so good. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon in case any of y'all can't get to the store to buy it. If I can find it, I will link it in the description below. Uh, y'all, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share. I need to get my video views up. I know it's my fault because I haven't been making as many videos as I normally do, but I've only made $248 this month. <laughs> I can't live off of that. I gotta get at least double that. So y'all um, share if you know of anybody that you think would enjoy my content, please ask them to subscribe to my channel. And you just keep on coming back. Bye guys.